Estes Lariel here and we are in Seattle, Washington. Actually, we are in Redmond on our way to Tukwila, Washington and I want to talk about charging while traveling. So now I'm talking about charging in decreasing levels of speed. So first are the superchargers are level 3. So first of all, when it comes to charging, what is important is a supercharger network when you on the way to your destination if you're on a road trip just like us um, the supercharger network is vital to ensure that you reach your destination so if your car is not a tesla let's say a chevy volt or maybe a nissan or maybe a nissan leaf then you would not be supercharging however it'd be DC fast charging with either the CHAdeMO or the CCS combo. I will have a video coming up about our road trip from the Calgary area all the way to Seattle. So we had no range anxiety whatsoever getting here. And uh, since I know that there are lots of Teslas here, um, I kind of assumed that within the city it would be easy to find charging. And when I got here I found that the superchargers were like we're kind of far from the city they're outside the city limits so it would be a stretch to drive from from your hotel or where you're staying over to the supercharger just to get juice now that brings us to the other types of charging there's the level 2 charging infrastructure and there's the level 1 charging infrastructure if supercharging is not an option then we have the level 2 charging which should be um, charging at your destination or charging at the place where you sleep so those are the slower chargers level 2 chargers um, what I found around this area lots of them are paid um, level 2 chargers um, we haven't tried those out yet because I'm trying to keep using the free level 2 chargers so another thing I might add is a little thank you to Sun Country and PV Mart for providing the free for use electric charging level 2 electric charging in Canada so it's amazing what you guys do um, I know that it will help um, EV adoption in the long term in Canada however you know coming to Seattle where there are quite a there's quite a lot more electric cars here than back home in Calgary Alberta so I see this as a glimpse into the future what it would look like as EVs become more commonplace you would see more paid charging as people enterprising individuals will make it a business to um, either there's two ways of paying for charging um, it's either you're paying for the time you're parked in the charging station or you're paying per kilowatt hour and from what I know um, in Canada or at least in Alberta is that you are not allowed to charge for charging or to resell electricity only the utility companies can do that uh, we stayed at the Hyatt House Hotel in Redmond and they have EV charging spots however we have those EV charging spots they are only level 1 and they charge at a speed of so I was saying they were they're charging at the speed of around 4 miles per hour so with 4 miles per hour of charging speed so overnight you only get 40 miles of range so it's good if you're only going around the city but if you're going to venture out let the navigation finish talking so if you're gonna venture out farther than the city um, those 40 miles will run out quickly so since we did a lot of driving today and yesterday we hardly had any juice so now it says here we would arrive back home with a round trip um, we have enough juice for our planned trip to um, South Center Mall in Tukwila for the Jollibee 
challenge is that if we want to do more driving, it's not enough range. Our level one charger isn't I'm gonna cut it, you know, for so what we need is a level two charger that can give between probably 20 to 40 miles of charging speed. So 20 to 40, probably 20 to 30 miles of charging speed. So this is similar to the chargers we use at home. So at home, we get around, um, at home we get around, say, 32 kilometers of rated range. So that's around 20 miles, if we're gonna talk in miles. And overnight, that should give you a full battery, uh, which the level one could not. What I noticed here in Seattle, since there's a lot of electric cars, it is tough to find free charging. Unlike in Calgary, you know, there's not many electric cars in the places we go. Most of them do have um, free, free charging. So the places that do have charging are free, but in here, most of them are paid through a boat. Something fell off the back of the truck. So pay charging either through charge point or the blink network. So we haven't tried that out yet, but um, there's none in the South Center Mall, like in the South Center Mall itself. So for Filipinos who own electric cars who want to go to the Jollibee in South Center Mall in Seattle, then keep that in mind. If you plan to eat every single meal at the South Center Mall in Seattle and you're not staying within Tukwila, your pilgrimage to Jollibee will take its toll on your battery. Okay? These are things I didn't think about when we were still driving our Prius to Seattle. In order to make sure that you have um, a trip here or a long trip that is enjoyable, make sure that the hotel where you're staying at will have a charger. Okay, we'll have a level 2 charger. A level 1 charger will not suffice if you plan to be driving around in the area. That's that about um, charging while traveling. So we talked about level 3, level 2, and level 1 chargers. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Um, I have more videos. I have the road trip, the long road trip video of this um, coming up shortly. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget, follow me too on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.